I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. This is Mike with Creative Visions. One of the most controversial moments in The Last Jedi occurs at the end of the film. Ryan Johnson on his Twitter account defended the Jedi projection of Luke Skywalker. He points to a book called The Jedi Path, A Manual for Students of the Force. The passage reads, Doppelganger allowed Jedi to create a short-lived duplicate of himself or herself. It was published in 2010, two years before Disney bought Star Wars from Lucasfilm. It was then republished in 2014, but was rebranded as Legends of Star Wars. Now, after Disney bought Star Wars, only the films and Clone War animated series were considered canon. Now, Disney has been picking and choosing what they will add to canon from Legends. She's far more valuable than you realize. Uh, how do you mean? To defeat an enemy, you must know them. Not simply their battle tactics, but their history. In fact, bringing back Thrawn is an example. However, all the stories about Thrawn before the animated series Rebels is considered non-canon. So the big question, is the Jedi Path book considered canon or is just part of it? My guess the book is still not canon, but like it or not, Jedi Projection is. I know this place. Special duties? Hmm? Master Yoda? You're here! In Rebels, we do get a hint of Jedi projection when Yoda has a conversation with young Ezra in the Jedi Temple. In that conversation, he explains to Ezra the fall of the Jedi was fear and power. That fear allowed them to fight in the Clone Wars while Palpatine grew in power. Now, I know that the fan base is divided on this, but do you think that Force projection was a good idea in The Last Jedi? That will do it for this video. If you like it, make sure you click like, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.